And sometimes we get to catch them early on in their careers. I, I'm just going to take, I discovered light. You literally did not. I discovered light. I, I, at my weekly, I found him. All right, so going into game one here, <laughs> we got, uh, we got uh, Best Degree playing Ike versus uh, Moose playing the Sonic. Yeah. This is definitely a little bit better for Ike compared to the last game because of how easy Sonic was able to box him out. But now Ike has the ability to deal with the fact that he's always going to approach at some point that uh, spin dash cancel doesn't work nearly as well and he actually gets uh you know he gets follow-ups off of throwing out an air or an up air if he catches him on approach good call at that back air oh, oh just he wait. made it back and landed directly yeah, in front of him but no punish right there yeah sonic is not able to cancel it anymore he has to go forward so <laughs> there, there's nothing he really can do he's, he's forced to commit the second he's in that ball state. yeah yeah, and it, right there, you can just like jump up past him, or you can just like hard punish him if he wants to do anything. Yeah, and also being able, ooh, that, oh. yeah, he, no, he still had his jump. Okay, he tried to catch him with the spring. I landed directly in front of him, tried to be aggressive on his landing, but that was a good call for um, best degree, just hold, running up, holding shield. Yeah. Oh, he and didn't I, go for the up air. Like, like yeah. he, he did DI out, but I if don't he caught up with the up air, would have I don't think he was confident it was going to kill right there, but that back air is going to take it. Yeah, you know, Boobs has to be very careful. He has to respect that. He already went for the runoff back air the first time, didn't hit. Follow up time, he went for it again. You already see he's consistently running off the platform, trying to look for the landing aerial. You got to respect Ike when he has that position there. Yeah, and Moose playing a lot, like, I, he definitely was a Smash 4, mm -hmm. Sonic, the way he's playing, because he's just going for a lot of options in that game. And a lot of Sonic wants in Ultimate right now is a lot more homing attack based, because it's yeah. harder to react to, and good follow-up off there. And you can stall really long with it, too. Oh, right, he still has his jump, I believe. No, actually, he doesn't. Well, he's going to be forced to consistently that, deal with this. Yeah, he's is, just dead that's now. That's gone. Yeah, very accurate on Moob's part. Going to close it out. Only at 32% too, so didn't take too, too much, uh, you know, after losing that first time. Hits already, he already has the lead. Look at that little Yeah, percent. just one side beat it back there, even in the back up. That really meaty down, uh, down throw instead of falling up up there. He tried to catch him again. Yeah. That could have potentially killed him early if he was trying to fade away. And I like the aggressive options out of disadvantage for Moob, but he's right back in it. Yeah, but being too aggressive against Ike, like while on landing, that up air covers so much. You can get caught really easy. You have to be very careful. I like these. I like. I like these empty hops in front of him, just trying the bait out approach option. Now moves. Okay. Spin dash. Oh, and the parry on the homing attack. Mm -hmm. He went the correct way too. He went to the left instead of going to the right. He would have been caught by that bear out of shield. And, oh, and all right, he saved this jump. If he did not, if he used this jump originally, he would have been dead there. But very good resource management on his part. Goes for the dare instead of a nair follow up. But then again, with the percent, probably just didn't feel confident that the nair to up air was going to kill. Catches him on the landing, though, with the aggressive play yeah. that you talked about before. Yeah. And look right there. He's basically, for now moves is just forced to approach. And he's big. And that's exactly what you want. And Ike like, is just taking advantage. Like, you know, as a Sonic, you already have to play the boxing game to begin with. But when you're being forced to approach with a deficit, you have to take trades you really don't want to take against an Ike. And you see, I like it. He's just stutter stepping back and forth, trying to get him to commit to like a nair or a fair. That way he can punish him on landing. But best degree, he definitely knows what he needs to do to get the baits he's looking for. Okay, back in disadvantage. And this is getting scary. And I like the back air right there. Oh, hit no punch. <laughs> yeah, trying to look for a potential spot dodge at the ledge there. You know, he, most of the time, being there at the ledge, people proactively want to grab. But he calls him on the landing there. That's what he was trying to do before. Faded back, knew the nair was coming, and he was able to even it back up. Yo, I really hate Sonic Ice Smash. It just looked like he punched out his kneecaps. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Ike's a tall one, and uh, that's, that's such a mean F smash, too. Granted, Ike is swinging a gigantic sword in Ragnall at you. So, can't really talk about being uh, courteous when yeah. that's happening. <laughs> that up smash ill-advised, because now he's back in disadvantage, but that parry, and just with the trade, and that is the stock right there. No, oh, it's not. Oh, he's actually gonna live. I never really agree too heavily when you want to box your way out of the corner like that. When you're getting walled, especially against Ike, like, you have to just try and reset the center stage. Look how much damage he's taken by trying to just draw hitboxes on his way in. Yeah, but I feel like he just doesn't know what to do and he wants to attack on percent, and that up tilt right there is going to take it. So yeah. we know Moobs likes to go be aggressive out of disadvantage, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not best sure. Degree. Best degree. He's basically caught on to that. Yeah. So Moobs needs to, oh, we already got the quick. Oh, wow, that was, nah. okay. 
I was going to say, that was with the swiftness right I there. Even, I didn't even know you can do that. Oh, so like, this used to take forever to get back to the game. Uh, they, they, they are already at Kalos. Um, but, uh, yeah, I agree. He was being too aggressive uh, while trying to land. And when you do that against a character with a disjoint, especially as big as Ike's, you're going to ask for trouble. You have to mix it up. You have to be very careful. And then when he finally decided to not be aggressive at a disadvantage, it was at the point where it was the end of the game. And you saw Best Degree just threw a hitbox out to bait out that air dodge to get the option coverage. I just saw Where are we going? Okay, I, we're just running well, it back to PS2 after all that. Yeah, I just saw the counter, the wolf counter pick. So we got, we got the classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all you know, all of a sudden, Sonic just uh, slowly transformed into a wolf. But you know what? Can't really. Yo, this is like Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Please don't talk about that game. All right, so <laughs> going to game two. Um, you, I mean, you can't, you can't really blame him because of. The way that that first game went, he couldn't he couldn't mix up best degree. He couldn't find his openings, and every time he committed, he got too much damage. So why not go to a character that allows you to zone out and allows you to reset the situation when you know that you can't open them up? Yeah, a character that just basically allows you to play your game and mm -hmm. basically doesn't allow a ca another character to play theirs. Just shoot the gun, people say. Yeah, shoot, shoot the guys. But problem is for him right now, best degree again. He's just, he's finding his way in just enough. He's spacing relatively well, but he's catching the fact that moves, as soon as he even comes close, he immediately starts to run back. He starts to, or he'll roll in. And he's caught him so many times, and that time, not being aggressive, but getting called out on the second place. Best degree taking the lead again. Yeah, it's one of the bad options right there because it does cover second place and tech roll in, and miss tech would have all been covered right there. So you just basically had to choose yeah, the one like, good option. Yeah, trying to delay, maybe roll in as the time, uh, like as he comes in, or throw out a get up attack. But right now, Vestigrew really turning it up, almost getting the counter. That would have been in early stock. All right, no double nares on the the platform there. You can really tell the difference between like the really high end Ikes. Every time they're near that platform, the double nair to up air is pretty much coming almost every time. I'm not saying that Vestigrew doesn't know how to do that, but if he gets an opportunity like that again, he needs to go for that so he can get a kill. All right, just fading in fair. Oh. Spacing back to just throwing out the nares, trying to give him uh, a little bit of room to work with. Yeah. You see moves like now at this point, yeah, he's he's getting buried into these platforms, getting buried on his way back in. Like it's very similar to the first game. Finally getting the back here to put a point on the board, but and trying to throw out some movement to maybe get some confidence, but yeah. he's being very aggressive. Uh, and swift on these recoveries. I don't like that side beat to recover. He's basically been missing ledge every single time and going high, mm -hmm. and he's been getting called out for it. This is going to be one more time he does that. He could just get a hard punish. Yeah, if, you know, Vestigree decides to back up if he knows it's coming, you could just catch him with a full, uh, well, not a full charge, but you could catch him with an F-Smash for being a little bit too reckless. And being a stock up, you're, you're willing to take yeah. that trade. Even like an F-Smash, you can just take him out. Yeah, you know, now at 79%. Catch him with the down tilt to fair. He's going to be forced to go low, opting not to go for an eruption, being that low. Yeah. All right, fair, fair. I like what Moves is trying to do. He's trying so hard to put out some baits, but that hitbox extension from the forward smash, you know, do it once, didn't work the first time, going to do it again. Going to get himself the KO to a victory for Vest Degree. Very, just all smiles for that one. Not the best way to deal with that. You don't want to constantly, again, being aggressive against Ike on the way back, that's a recipe for disaster. Like, it is. It's, it's even as Wolf, with so many great hitboxes, you need to stuff out Ike as he goes up, not as you are in the air. He you started to... off great with both games. He played it, like, with the Sonic game, I felt like he just caught him off guard. Mm -hmm. And then with the Wolf, he did play it slow. He shot the gun a lot. Yeah, and it, shot lasers. But you saw but as then, the match went on, yeah. he kind of kind of went away from that game plan. Yeah, he, went, he really got impatient. It was like, he had the lead, and he's like, I'm going in now with yeah. a fair, and then just got 